when I first got there, they had several cages in the basement that were made out of actual jail bars. And then they had a pink room and that was all concrete. I saw a lot of abuse. Mikey referred to himself as the dominant one. One time the chimp, Bo, ran up to him, bit his nose off, and Mike had to have several surgeries. It's dangerous. Mike didn't like noise. It enraged him to watch them rock. He would throw a shoe at the cage or scream at them or go up and get in their face. He would physically hit the female chimps. Chimpanzees hate water and he would spray them for so long and they're screaming at the top of their lungs. It's just torture. I called PETA and I said, I'd like to help. I wanted to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. And PETA can't do it alone. And one of the issues was not being able to get anybody inside the facility. So I videotaped everything that I saw and I would do it again. I have no regrets. If it weren't for PETA, if it weren't for the things that we did do, those chimpanzees wouldn't be free. They deserve their freedom. I'm so grateful to PETA. It was worth it.